hard fought battle. We'll have to see who can pull it out. Now we got MVD who has made a, an incredible run thus far, has defeated Nairo to get this spot. He's going to be going up against Cosmos, who has had a great run of his own. Have to see who will earn their spot. And again, we talked about it before, where the sponsor curse can be a little tough sometimes. It's Cosmos like last week at, uh, at Low Tier City 6 still having a great showing despite the new sponsor. So have to see if he can make it work here. And I, I have to say, this, this matchup in particular um, could really sway either way. Um, Diddy Kong could apply a good amount of pressure to Korn, deal a good amount of damage, but uh, patient Korn could really deal with Banana, using Korn's aerials to take care of the situation. Uh, remember that down air does cancel out Banana, and it's actually lagless, so Korn will be able to act out of it, maybe with using her frame 8 pin. Yeah, you can see it right there, trying to make something happen. MVD always at a perfect range to just, I'm not touching it, but again, it, it, if he just keeps doing it, MVD can't be scouted all the time oh as goodness. that tipper comes out. Yeah, Tipper being so strong, as I just said, but that DI coming from MVD, making sure his first stock is not the first one to go. Yeah, I'm sure the chat is just counting all the pins right now, but MVD just putting him to rest as he gets that down tilt into up smash. Only 100% on him, but he's always got to watch out for that. She tried yep. it again. And now that pin is fresh, he actually scary for MVD to make it back onto the stage in the back air, actually catching the monkey flip. Yeah, MVD's got to watch out for those. You remember, yeah. we saw him in that set earlier against Mr. E, where he, he really signed us. Yeah, he, he kind of threw away the set, just continually going for these monkey flips. Have to see if Cosmos is ready for them. They're trying to go for the double back air there, but Cosmos DIing away from the platform. And of course, Cosmos trying to make his name at this tournament. A newly crowned number seven on the latest PGR. Not just that, also freshly picked up by PG themselves. Yep. Gets the fair to up air conversion. Ooh. Oh my goodness, but MVD, knowing better, holding shield in that instant, knows that it's not going to break his shield, but it does do a good amount of shield damage. And MVD is not getting hit by these pins. It's just not happening, as you see Cosmo struggling to make that work. Oh, uh oh, yeah, oh God, the there it is. Again with the up air. Careful. And we saw how up air happy Cosmos was in the last time he played, actually taking two of the last socks in that set with up air in itself. Goes for it again, is able to escape. Ooh, I like the beam reverse attempt, but was it worth it, Kony? The risk and reward in that instant, knowing that Dragon Fang shot actually has a good amount of lag, um, especially if you miss the first Paralyzer. The Paralyzer into the Dragon Fang shot, it's not going to be connecting, and having so much lag, MVD was able to capitalize off of that and get the up smash kill. Yeah, absolutely, and you can see MVD again, trying to reset his mental. Just standing, trying to take a deep breath. He only needs one more game to get into this top eight loser side. Cosmos going right back to the same stage. No counter picks here as we start off on this potentially final game of top 16. And wow, opening okay. up with the monkey flip. <laughs> Already opening up a monkey flip and immediately as it said go, he did just wasted no time, probably matching that on his controller before it even started the match. Yeah, the fight was still up. Like you couldn't <laughs> even see past it, but Cosmos answering back here with all this damage. Oh, the amount of pressure, but MVD not opting to go for the legend invincibility, knowing that Cosmos was charging that forward smash and then actually trying to recover from up above, jumps right over that pin, and air dodges on the platform. Cosmos catching MVD, riding on this wave of momentum. And you know what's really interesting that I keep seeing is that MVD will pull out a banana, and it seems to happen right as Cosmos goes for a pin, so it knocks him out of it. Even yep. if he hits the pin, he gets kind of disrupted by the banana. And you see Cosmos actually going for a lot of those rising uh, side bases because he's trying to go for the tipper, and he actually has another jump after that. So he can do it safely, try to land on the platform to mix it up. Yep, there it was right there. He gets the grab. We're going to see an up throw. Not quite enough to kill. He's going to try to chase him, but MVD able to avoid it. He does land with lag, though. He's going to get grabbed once more. And there it is, the up air from Cosmos, smelling out the monkey flip and getting the stock. Nice. Jumped out of that pit. Did not want to kick into MVD shield just in case. Wow, with that, the down air into the pin conversion. There's even more damage coming out here. MVD's got to figure something out. Cosmos still not at a lot of percent. Town and City is going to help MVD out here if he goes for the down tilt into up smash conversion. But Cosmos kind of tearing away on this set, making a break for it. He does manage to use the fair to get back onto the stage safely. And these conversions, he actually manages to pin MVD, gets the back end of the up air. Oh this my goodness, is... the pin being so intimidating, you have to respect Korn space so much. Cosmos still having two stocks under his belt. MVD trying to catch a jump though with the up smash. Fortunately, is going to be able to miss it. Yeah, 
this is just unfortunate. Cosmos, again, a pin is really his bread and butter move. Excellent back here there from MVD. I think he tried to mix up his DI, but unfortunately, just not enough to kill just yet. And you can see him. That's so tricky. So what he's doing, he has the banana in his hand. He's Z-dropping it and then immediately inputting a back air. And so you think that he can't do an aerial with a banana in his hand. And Cosmos falling prey to that. Really good stuff by MVD. Very tricky. Unfortunately, I don't know if it's going to be enough to save him this game. Yeah, 145% alone. He still manages to take the stock. Anything can happen. We've seen so many crazy things happen in this game. McCorn still has so much kill potential. With that being said, a very fresh pin coming out of the heaven platforms is going to do it, especially at 146%. I don't want to be a liar, but it looked like uh, Cosmos said Battlefield. Or, yeah, I'm not sure. It looks like he's just staring at him. Look at that. Uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, just... <laughs> Uncomfortable stare. Locking eyes here. Have to see where he goes. Again, I, I think he said... Yep. Maybe he said Battlefield, like, like is that where go we're going? Yeah. This is one of Korn's best stages, too. The platforms allowing the ability to grant a better movement option for a uh, pin onto platform, yeah. as well as the tipper lingering below the platform as well. Yeah, I have to imagine that these guys play together all the time. Cosmos probably banned a certain stage. He said, Battlefield? And MVD said, yep, of course. Looks like MVD a little bit more well suited here to start off, but again, he's got to watch those pins. Cosmos, good lord, if he if you lost some mana for these pins every single time, he would just be oom all the time. It's nuts. Pin the win, that's what I say. Oh, that's what he says too. As he uh, <laughs> as he seems to be doing just fine against MVD right now, two percent differential between these two. But again, another tipper pin. Yep. To get the reverse forward tilt, perhaps trying to maybe catch banana in case he tries to toss it out. Trying to punish the monkey flip with the up air once again, Cody. You caught that out last game, too. Yeah, maybe he's gonna want to watch out for that. Doesn't want to lose Ooh. another game because of it. Oh my goodness, but forget up air. Let's talk about full up smash and the tip connecting, taking MVD's first stock. Cosmos at 69%. Yeah, and that's so unfortunate. You saw right there, he ate the up smash. And sometimes what'll happen when you get hit by that, you're like, oh. Thank God I didn't die. I need to come back and do, and then you get, <laughs> and then you, and then you get tippered. Yep, that, <laughs> that definitely can happen. So MVD just unfortunately caught in a very bad position, but not insurmountable deficit just now. 100% on Cosmos. Oh, oh my went goodness. for it. Yeah, he actually thought he was gonna try to uh, do neutral getup, maybe a jump, hoping that that forward smash was gonna connect, but not yet. Cosmos still has rage going on for him, yeah, and all this does. damage still scaling. This is the very last game of the set, and this determines who goes into the top eight here at yeah, Evo. It's incredibly important now. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw this out there. Watch for counter. Cosmos, oh, it hasn't been used at all. In Cosmos this entire hasn't set. used counter at all. It's incredibly powerful on Corn, especially when she has this rage. All he has to do is just bust it out. And MVD, again, a player oh known gosh. for his aggressive landings. Fortunately, he gets rid of the rage problem as he takes off Cosmos' first stock. MVD is not out of this game yet. He tried to get the tipper to the down smash there. It was actually a pretty smart move on his cart part, trying to get MVD's landing. Um, but now the risk and reward is there. Cosmos having his last stock here. MVD taking care of the rage problem and having rage himself Ooh. now. All right now, 116. Have to see if MVD can make this work. There's the double down tilt. Knows he can't get a grab, so he just runs right through him. Oh gosh, oh, Cosmos. Yeah, he yeah, has to recover high. high. He doesn't want to get down or just in case. He also used his jump. MVD, I think, could have done it there if he got the forward air, but unfortunately, Cosmos just a little bit off. We'll MVD really struggling. Here, oh, my oh, my god! oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! He got it! Rage! He got it! Rage! He gets the up air! MVD turning a situation in his favor, using Rage to his advantage, and taking out Cosmos, going on to top eight in bracket. Oh, man, and look, CEO of Panda Global, I know Cosmos is going to be so upset. Oh my gosh. He, I, you don't want to take anything away from an MVD, but Cosmos gave it to him. He, he was on, on the, the platform. platform with an up air. He